quantum physics only gives us probabilities. Probabilities describe a lack of knowledge. When someone claims that there is more going on in quantum physics, there needs to be a proof for that. Let's look at quantum theory and the double slit experiment and see whether that is the case. A measurement happens through the entanglement between measured and measuring system. In an entangled system, there is only partial or no coherence in the entangled subsystems. Just like any maximally entangling process, a perfectly distinguishing measurement removes all coherence from the entangled subsystems. So after the measurement, there is no coherence at all in the subsystems. This rules out the possibility of any interference within the subsystems. When we send a particle through a wall with two slits, we see a wave pattern on the screen. If we measure whether the particle has passed through one slit, the wave pattern is completely gone and we only see two isolated distributions behind the slits. As explained earlier, standard quantum theory says that decoherence must happen at the measurement and nothing other than the complete absence of interference phenomena can be expected after it. Nevertheless, this is where physicists say that the wave function has collapsed at the slit, but there is no necessity for that conclusion. There is nothing in quantum physics that suggests a collapse of anything and the idea that there is something that collapses, like a superposition of reality, is completely arbitrary and unjustified. With regard to the measurement problem of quantum physics, we are simply dealing with a theory that doesn't provide us with knowledge about what will happen in every measurement.